Hey YouTube, Monique Renee here with a wig review today. And today I'm gonna switch it up and do something a little different. Um, today I'm not wearing the wig my mom is. Um, I, bought, I ran across this wig online and I saw it. It reminded me of the mommy wig that I had purchased for her. And so, except this one was a uh, lace front and it has a strip of lace in the back. So I decided to go ahead and get that for her instead. And it's called Mimi. And it's called a full lace wig, but it's not truly a full lace wig. It uh, does have um, tracks in it, and but it does have the lace, the strip of lace at the top and the strip of lace at the back. So I guess that's why they call it a full lace wig. But, um, this is in the color PFS1B30 because she told me the next time I get her a wig to get her some highlights because she wants a little color. She want to be a little sassy. So, uh, let me just show you what it looks like. Um, she hasn't worn it at all yet. This is straight out of the pack. Tag still attached. That's how Mimi looks, much like the mommy wig, same type of style. So it's going to give you those same curls that pop once you put the water to it. Okay. Now, I will say this, and I, it's a big noticeable difference with the Mimi wig versus the Mommy. For those of you that have a very small head, I think Mimi would work better for you, this one. Because it has less hair at the nape of the wig. And back here, as you can see, let me just show you the inside here. This is the front of the cap. And it has lace ear to ear there are two combs at the front of the unit and then there are straps in the back with one comb and it does have this piece of Swiss lace this is the soft lace this is not this is that hard like harder lace but this is the Swiss lace in the back to give you a more natural look I guess um, not so much because it's not like you can pull it up and this is not a type of style that you want to even pull up so but it still has the soft lace in the back as you can see so this is Mimi I'm gonna grab my mommy and I'm gonna put it on her and we will be back actually let me cut the lace off and then we'll be back stay tuned as always, when I cut the lace off of this wig for her, I'm going to leave just a tad bit so that it looks a lot more natural. I think that when you just leave just a tad bit, it does, versus cutting it all the way to the hairline. Leaving a tad bit gives it just a, an appearance of a little bit more natural like it's coming from your scalp. Okay, you two, I'm back with my mommy, and she's wearing Mimi. So, as you can see, Mimi is straight out of the pack. She, again, let me show you. It's supposed to look like this with the whole finger wave style. It looks like a big, a big gigantic finger wave. Okay, so this is Mimi, and... Um, as you can see now I did not hook this is this cap is fitting down on her head without me even um, having to tighten it so like I said if you have a smaller head the Mimi is perfect for you if you if she turns to the side you can see that Mimi has doesn't have as much hair in the back so you won't have that flipping I did show how um, to manage your um, wigs in the back that have too much hair on the neck that tend to flip out in the mommy video where I show her wearing mommy. But as you can see, Mimi has a lot less hair. So this is perfect for her neckline because 
when she lift, put your head back, mom. You see how when she puts her head back, you won't have that flipping because it's not much hair back there. And then when she puts it down, you won't have that this wig saying hello and goodbye to you. It'll just lay flat like it's supposed to, like regular hair. Okay, so let's move on to actually getting Mimi a little wet and bringing out the curls in her. As you wet Mimi, you just want to tease those curls and make them come alive. Having a little malfunction with Mimi lifting up off of her forehead. So what I'm going to do, as I do with my uh, lace wigs, lace front wigs, I'm just going to apply a piece of adhesive tape in the front so that it won't lift and she won't have to worry about that. So what I do is just put just a tad bit on my forehead like so and the rest will lay onto the wig cap just like that and then you just pull the lace down over that That way you don't have to worry about your wig lifting and coming off during the day or while you're styling it or whatever. So, as you can see, the curls are coming to life. Breathe, Mimi. <laughs> she is coming to life. a little bit of the sideburns off because she doesn't want to want too much looking like Elvis so she's gonna I'm gonna cut him down a little bit I already did the other side You can just tease Mimi's curls out to make her come to life. As you can see, she is completely transformed. She don't even look like the same wig she had on when she initially put it on her head. These curls are gorgeous and the color, the highlighting in it is so pretty.
would you style her differently? How would you style her? Keep in mind, she is still wet, so those curls are going to get a little bit more full as it dries. That's the color of Mimi. That's how flat she lays on the nape. Close. She'll just have to work with it a little bit at the top because because the hair was already flat, naturally the hair wants to go back flat. So you have to just keep teasing and keep training the hair to go where you, in the direction you want it to go. But overall, Mimi is very cute. Overall, the highlights are very pretty. It's like a golden brown highlight in it. And it fits her head perfectly. It's very pretty and sexy and sassy. And I think she's feeling it. Are you feeling it, Ma? Oh, yeah, I like this one. <laughs> I like this one. And it fits down, again, on her neck perfectly. You, she doesn't have to worry about that lift in the back, and she doesn't even have to cut any off of this one. But it does resemble Mommy, which is one of my favorite wigs, and it's so adorable, just like Mommy, because those curls just pop. So thank you for watching YouTube. I hope you found this little small show and tell and tutorial um, entertaining as well as informative. So say bye. Bye YouTube. And as always YouTube, you know what you better do. Work that hair. Peace.